I've got a massive package, mate. I'm telling you, it's massive. Check this out. Come on! Man C TV, baby, have just sent me their mystery box. And you can get it too at mindseedtv.com. <laughs> they were saying, Casper, we want to send you, because you're so damn awesome. We want to send you a mystery box. You can go onto their website and you can ask for sort of like a mystery box. So, so you just, they just throw a load of stuff in there, okay? So it's basically like a lucky dip. Let's see what we got, hey? Thank you so much, but look at the box, hey? What's in the box? We're gonna open it live. It looks like the post office sat on it because it's it's got flappy flaps, mate. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Genuinely excited, mate. What the what? Hang on a second, mate. Hang on. Hang on a second, mate. Are you kidding me? How many? Right, this is gonna be a whole video of opening up. I'm gonna get through this damn quick. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Look at this. Hey, Microsoft TV. No, I'm just joking. Mine CTV. I love the red too. It brings out the, the color in my face. Because <laughs> I haven't got much color. There's loads of it. There's bloody loads of it, mate! Oh, yes! Lady in the Lake, get ready. Shebang! Shebang! I hope that you can hear me. Ho hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me now, hear me now, hear me now. Mate, that's when he had the bloody black eyes, mate. He's the black eyed peas. Look at this, this is, mate, this is, I'm telling you as well. This is high, qu high quality, mate. Look, this is the, uh, who does your art, man? How many, mate, how many we got? I've literally, I don't, I, I, uh, I've got a whole wardrobe here, guys. I've got a whole bloody wardrobe. Look at this art, mate. Grandpa Jack. Oh, man. There's more. I'm going to put one of these on. I'm going to put one of these on. Look, look. Mate, this is so damn epic. Really? You're giving me all of this, mate? Look, it's just endless. Hang on, wait, we haven't finished yet, mate. Look at this caps. Look at the cap, two of them? Mate. Man, I'm telling you, this is damn good quality. Right, tonight, guys, we're going in the most scariest house ever. We're going to push the boundaries of the paranormal. I am so damn hyped over this, as you can tell. We've got some hoodies as well, mate. We've got some hoodies as well. How many hoodies? Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh. Oh. Look at ye. Huh? Oh, I love that yellow and white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've got more. I've got a whole war. Mate, I can open up my Mind C T V shop. Look! I can't I can't get I can't get over this. I can't get over this. The art style, the quality. Mate, they ain't paying me for this, okay? This is genuine bloody gratitude. Look at that, mate. I, I got my I gotta get myself some stickers. Look at this, look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear one. I think I'm gonna wear the red. Oh. oh. <sighs> 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 hey? Boom! Let's go! Hey! Casey, Colton, you bloody legends, mate. Thank you so much. I If I wasn't hyped before watching this video, I'm definitely hyped now, mate. Honestly, guys, please, please go over to MindSeedTV.com and get the mystery box. When they said they're going to send me a box, I thought, maybe a couple of t-shirts, a hoodie, you know? Not the whole bloody shop! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? I'm banging! I'm banging! Because I got the Man TV merch, man! Okay, today we're going over to Slap Time. And I'm just joking. <laughs> we're going over to Mind TV. 
and we're going to be reacting to the extremely scary evil spirit impersonates girl paranormal activity with oh my gosh tv mate another good buddy of mine all right oh my gosh has got a heart of gold mate heart of gold isn't that a song that's fields of gold whatever damn good song without further ado dar diddly day let's do this Shh. go on my ctv if you guys didn't know, Maximum. we have our merchandise on sale now on MindSeedTV.com. Also, we're selling mystery boxes. Oh my God, they're so sick. I can't even begin to explain. They bloody are, mate. I'm telling you, they bloody are. $100 mystery boxes have like $550 worth of value in them. Custom packages, mind seated out. This is like the ultimate collector's item for you mind seat fans out there. And one of them has a golden ticket in it, which what? will be an invitation for you to join us on a paranormal investigation. I got raise my fucking golden ticket! Where's my golden ticket? This fucking mystery box is shit. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just joking, it's not. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Mind Seed TV. I know some of you were worried that we weren't going to be dropping any investigations or the season was over. The season is continuing right now. This is a premiere video. I know you've been waiting on this. If you enjoyed tonight's video, please feel free to leave a super chat. I'm going to introduce our special guest right now. Let's get this party started. Oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> this is great, man. Fucking hell, they get, they get the volume up. How much longer I gotta stay bound to this chair here? Hang on, I just gotta run to the store. Uh. <laughs> Come on, bro. Fuck around. Make sure you go to Omar Gosh bro, TV as well really and subscribe and do the thing. Chain to this chair. <clears throat> I hope they're joking. Imagine Omar Gosh reading you a bedtime story. <laughs> Good. I wanted to While be the owners dis of the home were not comfortable being on camera for this interview. I do have clips of the audio from the phone call, which I'm going to play right now, so you could understand a little bit of the history of what's been going on here. Her father and I raised her in the church, and most of her younger years, she was a perfect kid. When she turned 15, she stopped wanting to go with us. And then we noticed her getting into some pretty dark stuff. Ouija boards, it maybe? It common for kids to dress in black and go through phases. But then, you know, scary stuff. I started to find books in her room relating to darker worships. And some were even a little bit on the satanic side. Oh. This was not pe this was not how she was raised. This was not how she grew up. And this was not her. Well, what happened to her, mate? Her father and I obviously wanted to get rid of everything. We wanted to get the books out of the house, try to get her back into church, get rid of all the scary stuff that was not her. But she just kept resisting. One of the scarier things that I can remember, and I don't even want to remember, was one night, very late, I heard humming coming from her room. And when I went in, she had a bunch of candles lit and a salt circle around her on the floor. What are you doing? I was obviously upset, and I told her this type of behavior is forbidden in this house. Yeah. I didn't know what to say, and it probably wasn't the right thing to say. And, um, Did you not get her a PlayStation for Christmas? Is that what happened? Oh gosh, it wasn't long after that that she began showing signs of becoming ill. Symptoms nobody even knew what they were. Oh god. And it wasn't long after that that we lost her. What? I, it's so hard to talk about. It's almost five years now and 
Not a day goes by that I don't still hear her voice in my head. She also told us that she's been feeling a strange presence in the house recently, and what she feels does not feel like her daughter. It feels like something sinister. Oh, May. Oh, that's sad, man. Stop, stop fucking around with bloody satanic shit and lying down in soul circles. What the fuck are you on about, mate? All right? Get, just get a Himalayan salt, sprinkle it on your fucking food. Job done. Don't start sprinkling it around your bloody bedroom, mate, and fucking lighting candles. Smelly or not. Come on! TV, here we go, yeah, mystery box, get it, mindctv.com, here we go with the shadow bastards and the freaky tiki little girl and the voices in my head and the high nails and the... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy our content and you like today's episode, please hit the like button down below. It helps us out immensely and we'll make a deal with you. After this video hits 50,000 likes, we will be uploading the next episode and we have a lot of good investigations coming. So stay tuned and thank you. Make sure you subscribe. 50,000 likes? 50,000 likes? 56,000, let's go. As well and hit that bell notification so you never miss a beat. Enter the abyss. This place looks fucking sick. When I found out we were shooting a video with Omar, I mean, I'm immediately excited. It's everything the fans have asked for for the past two, three years. And, you know, oftentimes you don't get a chance to really link up with people that are in a similar space with you. And it just all things came together at once and it was a perfect storm. So what do you think, man? I don't know. I mean, it looks creepy. What's the story on this place? The people they didn't want to be on camera. That but, looks a lovely neighborhood, to be fair, right? Apparently their daughter passed in here, and like she was kind of doing some like black magic. And, uh, and then she ended up getting sick. And it was like a long story. I got the interview, uh, the audio, but they just didn't want to be on camera. But yeah, they said that they feel like something is kind of still present, and they don't think it's, it's her, so. Oh, mate. Omar's shitting himself, look, already. He's not even in the house yet. <laughs> I would Rambo it. Oh, the place looks fucking sick. Oh. Brr. Instant regret. <laughs> Instant regret. It felt weird. There was a weird aura in the air. And it's one of those things kind of like, you don't even have to say it out loud, but you could just feel it. Oh, I think that's her. I think that's their daughter. Oh, wow. Oh, so this isn't like something from a long time ago. Oh, no. This happened like within the last five years. Oh, wow. That's so sad, that man. a normal young girl. Yeah. But what happened to her? Uh, apparently, she got sick and like they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. And then she was getting like worse and worse. That's crazy about the girl, though. Yeah. Like, and it's got that hella like vintage kind of like feel. Like the carpet, the furniture. I thought this girl was gonna be, you know, like a Lizzie Borden type story from long time ago. Nah, allegedly it's just like, you know, kind of a good girl that got interested in some dark you know? Huh. It's so nice. My first Yeah, you don't speak too soon, Omar, mate. On this house was, it's beautiful. It's an old classy Victorian home, a couple hundred years old. Victorian in interior decoration stuff. They just got like the craziest, weird, trippy stuff all over the house. What, uh, so there's two stairwells? I think we passed one when we came in, right? Yeah, there's, there's a big this one, one, and then that's one of those, um, you know, we've been to places that they have those tiny ones that go right to the kitchen. Yeah, a lot of the old homes kind of do this. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get my EMF detector rolling. Yeah. Bro, this is... Creepy. And get the super licky sexy out as well, mate. Get the SLS. You know what? You still have the obelisk on you? Oh, yeah. Oh. I got to turn on. Obviously. <laughs> hello, hello. Casey's cam.
something weird about this room. Ooh, yeah, I can oh, sense I that. Staircase, though. All right, I just heard something in the corner, but maybe it was Casey. No, I'm, I'm, I'm upstairs. Oh, you're up there? Yeah. Oh, sh I heard something over here in the corner. Mate, look at the woodwork on that bloody staircase, mate. These old fucking trees just for a stump there, look. Not a stump, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I was thinking tree that, stump. <laughs> we heard there's an evil presence here. For banisters, it doesn't like, feel yeah. like the deceased daughter. If there's anything present, would you mind coming close? When I started hearing what was going on, how this family thinks that there's something pretending to be their daughter, and I just, in the back of my mind, I'm like, mm, maybe this isn't a good idea. If there's anything present, mm. would you mind coming close? It'll make this device go off if you like. Hey guys. No. She's like, we I won't come sweep. close, but you can come close to me. Downstairs, and uh, I decided to go take a look upstairs on my own. And when I went upstairs, I had the EMF detector. I was looking for spikes, trying to see if there was any kind of activity anywhere in the house. And uh, I heard a, a creak behind me. It'll make this device go off if you like. Hey guys. Rambo with me, kick it open. Yeah. It said help? No, not help. Hell. It said help? Hell. That's probably not a good thing. Look. Yeah, probably not, mate. Right there. Oh. Oh. This Oculus thing's going to be What's up? Hey. Bro, you know what, right? Whenever you called us on the Oculus, it said hell. No, not help. Hell. It said hell? Hell. That's probably not a good thing. Right there. Hell Gale Gateway, mate. It's the it's the gateway to hell. It's not the best situation you want to walk into, especially as a paranormal investigator. I'm not a demonologist. I'm not a priest. I'm not equipped to be able to kind of reconcile the sort of energy that's happening here. And if there is a case where someone was doing some sort of worship this way, it usually doesn't end well for us. You sure it wasn't the... Got 40? Like, is there a window open? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh! Coffin! It said coffin. It said coffin. Coffin, like, you know, casket. Coffin. I'm pretty sure that this door just opened on its own. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. That's locked. The music, mate, is on his another level, isn't it? <laughs> Hear that? Ceiling. Ceiling. Okay. Look ceiling. at the ceiling, mate. I see a crack. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> Colton was telling me that he experienced, you know, speaking with a psychic medium who is very knowledgeable and told him that they got something that's following them around. And I'm beginning to believe that because. I've never seen anything like this. So a while ago, we did an investigation, and there's been kind of this looming oh, these mate. words that just keep replaying in my head. From See, messing around. A psychic reading that I... Messing around with bloody tarot cards and stuff, mate. I used to read that stuff years and years ago. I was pretty damn good at it, apparently. But I don't know. I stopped believing in it. I had from a very well-acclaimed medium, and she had... It's a long story. ...let us know that she senses something that follows us or is attached to us and she gave us advice that we should bring sage with us on these next investigations and we figured someone that dabbled with black magic and dark arts this is the perfect time to not forget your sage she actually suggested that we use sage anytime we're on these investigations just to protect ourselves and cleanse ourselves um so we decided to do that I would too, mate. I would too. I would be smothering myself in sage, eating it as well, mate. Every dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mate. Cold flames. 
All right, so uh, oh, wow. a lot of viewers have requested us to do this as well. First time giving it a shot. Have you ever done this? I don't really, I don't know. I think there's bad juju behind that. Kind of invites things. I thought it stops things. I thought it, it, it warns the things away. You're supposed to uh, you're supposed to light it and apparently like you do you drag it around the openings the doorways like and it's supposed to prevent things from passing into that building and also make things that are here want to leave outside of that point you know what I'm saying yeah it creates a barrier all right well of sorts yeah let's That's give it a shot here let's see what happens can't hurt yeah no. maximum lighter please not even what? Let's see Shush. what happens can't hurt yeah no. not even no you guys can have your f***ing back towards that. Literally, the second that I went to light the lighter and light the tip of the sage, it was like click, slam, crash, bam. Can't hurt. Yeah, no. Not even. No. You guys can have your f***ing back towards that. If I was there alone, I would have jumped out a window. Let's see, <laughs> Let's see what happens. Can't hurt. Yeah, no. They legit jumped, mate. He legit jumped. Not even. No. You guys can have your fucking back towards that. What the f*** was that, bro? Obviously, that kind of activity is a definite sign of aggression. Wait, that, that. Where'd, that, where'd, where'd that come from? That's like the kitchen, mate. La cuisine. The kitchen? I think so. Uh-huh. And even Omar noticed when we walked in the kitchen, he said that he felt this drastic drop in temperature. What's up? Bro, it's like 10 degrees colder right here. Nah, oh yeah, it is. It's fucking oh ice cold. Guys. I go into the kitchen and I'm immediately met with this cold. I mean, it was 20, 30 degrees colder than it was maybe just a few feet away. Oh, man. There's somebody in here. If so we're calling like I don't see anything. <gasps> Mate, that's a nice <gasps> kitchen too. There's glass on the floor. There's books scattered all over the place. Oh my god. All They're right. every fing where. So far, this is the craziest thing I have experienced in a, a many, many investigations. Maybe a door closing a little bit on its own could be related to a woman. Well, hang on, mate, because last video, bloody books, you saw books flying off of the bookshelf. You don't hey, get in front that of your face. kind of stirrup from a breeze coming by. Where was this? Like, where was it right here? Right here. Like, so it flew all the way across the room. Yeah. Oh, you wow. You know I don't understand? How is it possible that something can fall like at the same time this yeah it's yeah, yeah. falling off it's it's almost like there's more than one thing yeah here. you see that's the thing so all oh, right it's coming from that wall and something tossed that that way did something move this direction I don't did, know. Did, is there some sort of like Shh. i swear dude i keep hearing footsteps out there too we need to do another sweep of this house after what they need cameras in every single room to see what's going on man like all hell broke loose in the kitchen we decided you know what let's jump into a little bit of a heavier test let's see if we could get some kind of communication i suggested we do the ouija board just to try to break the ice and see if we could get some sort of communication with whatever entity oh. we're communicating with colton wasn't really that comfortable doing it on this investigation and omar also said like that's not really something that he toys with either so we chose to go another route. So he just did it on his own. He ramboed it on his own, mate. Did the Ouija board his own. Mind CTV does this blind spirit box where they're just completely mm. eliminating all your senses and just feeding you with a spirit box, just going right into your ears. And it mate, if you've ever done that, it's it's so damn freaky. It's so freaky. Oh, mate, me and Mace have done that. It's so freaky. You're, you're in a dark space. I've never done this before. I've always been terrified to do this. I know what it feels like to have all of your senses deprived and be stuck in a dark room in a very active location. Yeah. We thought it was a good opportunity to give Omar his first taste. <laughs> it's, di it's definitely different than sitting in a room and like hearing the speaker playing back to you versus not being able to see anything, not being able to hear anything. Blind and alone.
by testing one, two, one, two. We have Omar downstairs right now doing a blind spear box. Omar, can you hear us? No. Okay. Whatever is in this house, can you please use the device downstairs? Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Anything that you would like to say? Any message that you would like to relay? You could also use the device in front of us. We have a yes, no prism. If you light up the green side, that'll mean yes. If you light up the red side, that'll mean no. Stabbed. The words that Stabbed. Omar was saying uh, <clears throat> that he was hearing from the spirit box, they started to get a little bit disturbing. Stab stabbed in the heart. Oh, broken heart, stabbed I in the heart. hearing all these different sounds. Some of them make sense. Some of them don't. I don't even know what they're asking on the other side. <laughs> Do you know about the young lady that used to live in this house? He's upstairs. Oh. Is whatever's residing in this house evil? Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that, bro? That sounded like a straight door slammed. Hey! Oh, no. oh shit! Run! Get Omar out of there, mate! Bro. Mate, Omar's gonna be fucking bouncing around the room now, up on the ceiling, going bleh, 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 fucking foaming out of the mouth and shit. In the middle of us doing the blind spirit box, we were interrupted by a loud, like, loud bang. Shook the whole house. Me. What the f was that, bro? And then everything just chaos. That sounded like a great door slam. Shit! No. Oh. <laughs> He's like, help! Confusion. <laughs> like totally oblivious of what's going on. No, this one's <laughs> Omar, get out! Hey, we gotta get him, bro. Come back, bro. It, oh, bro, bro. Yo. These guys come running down. They pull my blindfold off, and they're like, they're just freaking out. They want to get the hell out of there, like big time. Upstairs. Wow. You gotta see it. But we gotta go outside for a second and get a breather. I'm like, every door up there slammed when we were asking you questions. Bro, I felt that. You felt, I you felt that, yes. It felt like an oh. earthquake. Like the ground was shaking. I, I didn't know what was going on. It was a lot of commotion. We can't express enough when you're in the situation how different it feels when you're the one there experiencing it. We all went out for a little breather and, um, we showed him the footage that we captured. I was scared. I was scared, but I was excited at the same time. Yeah. He's like, I want to see that sh too. Let's go take a look. Let's go see what's up. We were at that point already talking about leaving and I was down. I'm down for whatever. Like we've already had a great investigation so far, but they left some sh upstairs. Every time, I feel like every time that we want to just bolt or leave. <laughs> you, you've got about forget. three grand of equipment upstairs. Get something or we <clears throat> abandon some piece of gear. And this time it was my fucking cell phone. Oh no. Homecoming. So we decide to go back in the house. We're going up these stairs. I'm hella hesitant. Bro, this is... I don't know if it was disbelief or skepticism or he thought we were f***ing with him, but when we came back inside, Omar was like jazzed. He was like stoked. He wanted to go up there and see exactly what we just experienced. He wanted to see the evidence of what just happened. Bro, every single door in this hallway just slammed. Oh, mate, it's... Yo, Cole, was this shit open before? This attic? The attic? You get down to the end of the hallway, and there's one door open that leads to a creepy-ass attic.
Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, no, absolutely you're going up there, mate. Wait, that door was locked, bro. And my camera just started glitching out. That was weird. Yeah, I did that see that. I'm not going, going up. There? I'm not going up there. I'm not either. <laughs> Come need... on, pussy. Fucking run. Get up there, ramble it. Mate, if I was there, I'd be like, <laughs> Casey, Colton, Omar. Stand, stand to one side. I get my fucking red bandana on, and I would effing Rambo that shit. Okay, all the equipment on me, bit, 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 super licky, sexy, all that shit, mate. I'd go up there naked. Well, not naked because the guy's behind me. Whatever. I'd go up there. Okay, Rambo it. If you want to say look, rock. these guys wanted nothing to do with going up in the attic. <laughs> go on, Omar. Go, go on, here, mate. Here. If you want to uh, check it out? I'll check it out. I'm curious. Yeah, all big right. balls. Come on, mate. If all these doors are closed and this one's open, it's obviously open for a good reason. Maybe there's something that wants me to go up there. All right, wish me luck. Yeah, well, good luck, man. <laughs> all, right. all right. Oh, my God. There's going to be a spirit bitch there, mate, Gross. in a little rocking chair just going, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you came cold up here. All right, this is kind of creepy. Oh, man, oh, it's like black stuff on the chimney. Probably Almost soot. looks like blood, but maybe I'm just over exaggerating. Probably. It's probably soot, mate. Bruh. There's like a freaking shrine over there. That's kind of weird. I see what looked like a shrine of children and like animals, and it was quite strange at first. Hello? Huh? Is something good? Yeah, there's just a bunch of pictures of like kids. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I think it's fucking weird, mate. Hey, dude. How you doing? Just imagine if you went, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, oh, oh! 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 What's that? This chair dead in front of me starts charging right towards me. That was my cue to, to get, get the F out of that. Oh, oh! oh! <laughs> He came flying down the stairs, and when I tell you, me and him locked eyes for a second, all I saw in his face was pure terror. <laughs> Casey and I have been on enough investigations together. It's surprising that they didn't go up there, though, with him. I, you know, it's like, why, why didn't you go up there with him, mate? Normally they rambo this shit. I saw his face. My first instinct was turn around and run. I looked at Golden <laughs> and it was like, let's fucking go. And as soon as I start running, I realized I forgot my fucking cell phone. Fucking sound like my missus, mate. I was forgetting her bloody cell phone or mobile phone. But at this point, in our own safety, we gathered our equipment as quickly as possible and exited the home. I don't think that any of us could have expected the night that we were about to have because Colton and I have had a lot of nights where we get nothing. There's times when we're not saying it or admitting it to each other, but we are literally like borderline paralyzed with fear. I knew that this house was going to be haunted, but I was not expecting the turnout that we had. Part of me was really hoping that we would get something with Omar, but uh, not like that. I'm probably going to have bad dreams tonight. <laughs> I felt like we had got enough footage at that point. That's all we're trying to do is capture stuff, and I felt like we did that. Having someone else there to kind of push the investigation forward at certain points after what we witnessed, it was an interesting experience. At the end of the day, I'm glad that I got to do it with some pretty special people. It was fun. Will I ever go back to this house? It depends.
Depends how many likes we get on this video, okay? <laughs> so if you want to watch another investigation right after you finish this, like right now? We have an exclusive video joining Omar on one of his investigations, and our videos are live oh, right what? now on his channel as well. Go there, and it's there. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey! Never cease to entertain. There you go, Mind CTV. Another epic video, mate. Thank you so much, Mind CTV, again for the mystery box, man. Over the moon. Thank you again so much. So, if you wanted to get the mystery box, make sure you go over to mindctv.com and get the mystery box yourself. And also, mate, please, if you did like this video, like it and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Get the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it.